दिस इज गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइन क्वेश्चन अ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन द स्टेट टेबल इज गिवन टू यू आई टोल्ड यू दैट फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड यूजिंग स्टेट टेबल ऑल्सो यूजिंग स्टेट डायग्राम सो वेन एवर स्टेट टेबल इज गिवन टू यू यू कैन कन्वर्ट दिस स्टेट टेबल इन टू स्टेट डायग्राम बिकॉज यूजिंग स्टेट डायग्राम इज मच इजियर देन यूजिंग स्टेट टेबल ओके इन दिस क्वेश्चन ही इज सेंग दैट बेसिकली दिस इज योर स्टेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन नोटिस इफ यू आर इन दिस स्टेट जीरो जीरो इफ दिस इज योर स्टेट ओके एंड द इनपुट इज जीरो देन वॉट हैपन्स देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेट विल बी जीरो जीरो एंड द आउटपुट विल बी वन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन नोटिस वॉट इज दिस इज दिस मिले मशीन और मोरे मशीन ओके यू कैन नोटिस दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली मिले मशीन वाई because in in this machine i can say that the output actually depends on what is your present state and what is your input for example if your present state is 0 0 okay you can very easily see if your present state is 0 0 and the input is 0 okay then the output is what then the output is actually 1 okay similarly if your present state is 0 0 if your present state is 0 0 okay and the, uh, and input is 1 and the input is 1 then what will happen then all, then uh, the output actually will be so in this state 0 0 okay if the input is 1 then output will be 0 okay here output will be 0 okay so you can notice that the output actually depends on what is your present state okay so this is your i can say this is your state okay so here i can say that what is your present state and what is the input that you are reading what is the input that you are reading okay that will determine what is your output so this is the definition of mille machine so this finite state machine that is given to you this is a mille machine now the question is saying if the initial state is uh, a equal to 0 b equal to 0 so this 0 0 is your initial state then what is the minimum length of input string that will take you that will take this machine to state 0 1 with output 1 okay so this is the condition okay so first what you can do very simple that you can convert this state table this is your state table you can convert this state table into a state diagram okay so let's convert this state table into state diagram so how many states you have you can notice there are total four states okay one is ab equal to 0 0 one is this state another is ab equal to 0 1 another state is this okay and similarly you have ab equal to 1 0 okay and also ab equal to 1 1 so these are the four states that we have and the initial state is a equal to 0 b equal to 0 you can notice the initial state is a equal to 0 b equal to 0 this is the initial state that is given to you okay now so now you can notice now you can create the state uh, state diagram very easily if your current state is 0 0 okay then you can notice in this state 0 0 in this state 0 0 you can notice that if you read input 0 then you will go to 0 0 so in this 0 0 if you read 0 then you will go to 0 0 and output will be 1 if if the input is 0 then output will be 1 and you will go to state 0 0 and you will go to state 0 0 so this is what i am saying okay so now in this state 0 0 if you if the input is 1 then you will go to 0 1 and output will be 0 okay so in this state you can notice if the input is 1 then the output will be 0 you can notice output actually will be 0 okay and you will go to what you will go to state 0 1 this is your next state if your input is 1 okay so this is how you can create the state diagram similarly in this state 0 1 what we are doing in this state 0 1 the next state is 1 0 on g okay so in this 0 okay 0 1 uh, let me just write like this let me just okay let me make this here uh, 1 1 and let me make 1 0 here now from this state you can notice that if you read the symbol 0 then you will go to 1 0 if you okay and the output will be what the output will be also 0 okay next you can notice that in this state 1 0 similarly you cannot okay you cannot in this state 0 1 if you read 1 then the output will be 1 and you will go to 0 0 okay so if you read 1 then the output also will be 1 and you will go to state 0 0 okay so like this actually you can draw the state uh, this state diagram you can draw similarly you can you can see in the state 1 0 if the input is 0 then you will go to 0 1 so from 1 0 actually you are going to 0 1 okay if the input is 0 then the output is what okay then the output is also 0 output is also zero similarly you can notice from this state 1 0 you are going to 0 1 okay so from this state 1 0 you are actually always going to you are actually always going to 0 1 from this state 1 0 you are actually always going to 0 1 okay if the input is zero then output will be zero if the input is one then output will be one okay so i can say if the input is zero output will be zero if the input is one then the output will be one okay now what about state 1 1 
okay so what about this state one one you can notice no one is going to one one okay one thing you can notice that no one is actually going to one one there is this is the initial state see remember this is the initial state now from this initial state you can never go to state one one okay because you can notice that state zero zero is going to zero zero state zero zero is going to one zero uh, zero one and this zero one is going to one zero and this zero one is going to zero zero so okay you can very easily notice from this diagram you can notice that this state is unreachable actually okay i can say that this is unreachable state because your initial state is zero zero so this is actually unreachable state okay so remember these transitions from a b you don't have to make you don't have to worry about these transitions you don't have to worry okay but you can notice in state one one okay you are going to zero zero okay so from this state actually you are going to uh, zero zero if the input is one then output is one and similarly if input is zero then the output will be zero and you are going to one zero okay if input is zero then output is zero but remember i am saying that this is unreachable state so you do not have to worry about it you can remove this basically this you can remove okay you can remove this okay but anyway now the question is saying that if your initial state is a equal to 0 b equal to 0 what is the minimum length of input string which will take the machine to 0 1 okay you want to go here okay this is your initial state but you want to go here okay here you want to go with the output 1 you want to go with the output 1 okay now let's see what is the minimum length string which will take you here okay with output 1 so you can notice if you are in this state then what you can do you can read 1 and you can go here but output is actually 0 okay so you can read this one you can read this one you can go here but actually output is zero but we want output one okay so here we want to go here okay we want to go here with output one with output one okay we want to go here so what i can do i can read the input one now i am here now i am here but output is zero so what i have to do i have to go i, I have to come back here with output one so what i can do very simple i can read this zero and i can go here and then i can read this one and then i am here now you can notice now i am here and the output is also one okay so this is the minimum string this is the minimum length string which will take you from initial state to this state zero one okay with the output one okay so the answer will be here one zero one okay so i can say the what is the minimum length what is the minimum length of an input string so the answer will be three because this is the the length is actually here i can say the length is actually three and the question is asking what the length of minimum string so the answer will be option three okay so like this you can very easily do okay so this is your question okay